Well, hello. Hello, Coffee Time Friends. How y'all doing? Say hello, Mom. Hello. All right, we're going to cook a little bit tonight. I am going to cook a homemade white sauce. And right here, I've got these little, that's been on. I've got these little chicken tortellinis. Um, three cheese that I just picked them up at the store. And I've done got them boiled in a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt. So they're just hanging out over here waiting for the rest of the party to show up. So come right down here to this skillet. We'll just let them hang out there. And this is just butter. Now when you're doing butter, you need to add a little oil. This is just olive oil. That's gonna keep our butter from getting all messed up. Don't want it to burn. I don't even really want it to burn on. Well, I need about two tablespoons of that self-rising flour there. They're gonna start out with a roux, just like most of these kind of dishes. Can y'all see? So this is just butter, olive oil. It's about two tablespoons. So that's the equal amount of flour we're gonna use. Is the um, two tablespoons. So that's easy. Anytime you're making gravy, even if it's breakfast gravy or roux for uh, macaroni and cheese or a roux for white sauce, do equal parts oil. Yes, ma'am. Do equal parts oil and flour. You can use um, plain or self rising. This is self rising. The only thing difference between the plain and the self rising is you make it a little foam with the self-rising from the baking powder and the baking soda, but I don't worry about it. So that's what you, yeah. So that's what this is. Okay, so I'm gonna get right over here and I'm gonna get a little bit of seasoning here. I'm going to put a little parsley in here. A little bit of that Italian seasoning right there. I'm going to put a little Italian seasoning in here. That'll cover your basil, all those flavors as well. I like to put them in my roux. That's not open much. You may have to take that uh, Yeah, it's coming out a little though. I like to put them in my roux because I want the, those to bloom. I want them to bloom, meaning I want all those oils out of them. Now this is not spaghetti, so we're not gonna kill it with that, okay? Just gonna put just enough. Just like that. Mama, can you get me the Southern Secret from y'all's? It's gonna take care of our garlic powder and our onion powder, because we want that in here too. I thought I had everything, but that's what you get for thinking sometimes. So now you want to cook this. This is raw flour. So you want to cook it for at least two minutes. I know what you mean. You picked up everything except the raw flour. See, I told you. That drawer is hard to get the right over. Well, I had them in our lined up. When you have to write on the lid. Yeah. Well, I'm going to I know. So this is just y'all's uh, Southern Secret. And this has got your onion and your garlic powder in it. You see the, how that blooms so quickly? Hmm. Ooh. I can smell it. Really. I smell it too. Now, brown. it's getting to a good brown. And I'm going to put my chicken broth in there now. So this is a... Uh, well, cup and something. Cup and a half. Cup and a half of chicken broth. One cup and a half of chicken broth. This is homemade chicken broth. Uh, you can use a box if you don't have homemade. That's what I would have done. But we boiled this chicken. So we have a chicken broth. Mmm. Let that heat up. Just a little bit. And the tortellini is done. It only has to boil about five minutes. I will turn it back on just to keep it 
good and hot. And you can see this is thickening a little, but it'll thicken more. This will make a good chicken gravy for potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells heavenly. In fact, I may make gravy like this next time. Once it boils, it'll thicken. It will thicken. This is just half and half. And I'm gonna put about a half a cup of this. So this is just half and half. Putting this about a half a cup in there to measure it. Mmm. What do you think about that, Mama? It smells really good. Doesn't it though? Makes you hungry, don't it? I'm going to put about three tablespoons of sour cream. That's just going to give it a little thickness and a little zip of flavor. Thank you, Mama. Just going to let that melt down in there. Mama got interest when she's in the sour cream going in. Y'all know that's one of Mama's food groups. Isn't it? Sour cream's good. I like Mm, it's on everything else. On chili, putting it on Frito chilies. And... Oh yeah, now you're talking. Okay. It's starting to melt in there. Well, See it cool it down. Um, we're about ready. This is just a little bit of salt going in little black pepper going in. Now you can do however much spices. You can put a little red pepper in this if you want. Mama don't want, so we ain't gonna do that. This is shredded Parmesan cheese. This is six ounces. So I'm gonna use about half of this. Cause I'm gonna, I'll add a little bit on top. So this is just grated Parm going in. in. Don't take it, no, time to no, it's good like that. This is about two small breasts of chicken. They were boiled and that's what made our beautiful broth. Made that beautiful broth. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna mash it down in there. This is gonna make a beautiful dish. It comes together quickly. Our store don't have the three cheese. So when I can get a hold of it, I get it. This is a big old colander, probably two cups of spinach. I may not use all this. I'm gonna let it, it's just water. I'm going to let this get down in there, and then if I think I need a little more, I'll add a little bit more. This is just baby spinach leaves. And they will wilt and go right in there and make a beautiful dish. Can y'all see? I hope so. Mmm. Mmm. This is rich with the cream and the sour cream and the butter and the olive oil. So you got all that going on. Yeah, like it's, it's fine to get that out of the oh, water. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and put some more of the spinach in. More? That looks like all. It looked just like all, didn't it, Mama? Yeah. I loved, loved the spinach. You want to drain our... Just down the sink. Yeah, you'd be good. A three cheese tortellini will go in next, and we're done. Time to set the table and call in the kids, because supper's on the table. You want to let the spinach get good and melted. Just like that. 
I'm going to taste this to see if it needs anything else or does it need a little bit more Italian seasoning? Does no, it need? I don't believe it. it smells. Does it need salt or pepper? Do we do our do on it? Let this boil. I want all that spinach to be just perfect. Well, Mama, it's hard to clean the burner and it on. I'm not gonna get that right on this. I'm just getting that off. It tastes good. It probably could use a little bit more. Just another little bit of Italian seasoning. Just because I'm tasting the chicken and the stuff, but I'm not tasting that little hint of Italian seasoning. So I'll put about another teaspoon in there. And just to be fancy, I'll put another little hit of parsley. Parsley does add to your flavoring. It enhances the other flavors. Now let that boil good. I want all that spinach to be just right. Mama, is that a Minute Maid lemonade right there? I'm going to hit this with just one little... Yeah, we probably did. Just a little bit of lemon juice. You can hit it with fresh squeeze or you can hit it with a little bit of Minute Maid. That's Minute Maid frozen lemon juice. Okay. Now let's put these beautiful three cheese tortellinis in. If you haven't used these before, they're delicious. They add, they add to a pot of white sauce like nobody's business. And they uh, make an easy supper. Let me just say, an easy supper. Okay, so there it is, folks. And now, I'm going to put a little bit more par uh, parm on top. Just like that. Now, let's take this beautiful supper right over here to the table. What do you think about it, Mama? I think it cooked pretty good. You think it cooked pretty good? I'm surprised. It didn't take time, did it, Mama? I'm out of coffee. Y'all see? I'm sitting here drinking coffee. And I drunk it all. Do you know what me for you some more or are you drinking water? I'll drink water tonight. Because I can just finish the cup of coffee. You're going to drink it out of your container? Just hand me a glass and some ice. And you're going to get you some? Yeah. Wouldn't hurt to have a little water with the. Uh, all this pasta wouldn't hurt us to drink a little water tonight, Mama. Mm. Got a little off my, on my finger. Off that spoon. While we let this rest for just a minute, Mama's going to show you some cherished family heirlooms as of today that uh, we got in the mail, that Mama got in the mail. I'm as excited about it as she is. Oh, wow, I was tickled to death. I she screamed. Never seen Ah, them. those are beautiful. I thought she was looking at my baby pictures. <laughs> That's a lot of laughing, Mama. <laughs> Not the easiest baby pictures. <laughs> when I heard you open them, oh. I got spinach on my finger. Even the spinach is good. I'm going to start setting them over here, but I'm not going to show you until Mama comes because I don't want her to show. Oh, I've never seen them. The light just went out. You both did or something. 
can y'all see us in the dark? We don't always use the light, but it seems like you all can, we can. Well, it ain't gonna work now, because I have to unplug the whole thing. Oh, I This is real life. This is what happens in real life, folks. This is what happens in real life, in real time. All right, now we're on. Yeah. Okay, Mama, here's your pretties. Miss Angela Britt, you hear us talking about her. She's been she's been with us since the beginning. She's like family. You see that? Look at my halo in the mirror. Oh. Yeah, Mama, no, show them what Angela said. This is beautiful. Look, it's my Tupperware ladies. And there's the Years ago, they gave these to consultants for recruiting. Look at that. It even has the old timey. That's one well, of the first things I heard. Oh, it's got the old time. The old Starburst on the canisters. Look at that. Angela, you outdid yourself. I loved it for And then this one is the more modern. Look at her. I said she is really a Tupperware lady, the way she's dressed and stuff. This is a old high. Angela, thank they're you so beautiful. much. Oh, they're so they beautiful. are absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Angela, you did too much, girl. Yeah, Look at that. Is that what those skirts call like that? It's just a pleated Pleated, skirt. pleated. Mm -hmm. um, those are so elegant. Mama will display these. Mm -hmm. You will see them again. How beautiful they yeah, are. Oh, they're wonderful. How beautiful. Thank you, Angela. You were, you were just I didn't so know sweet. what in the world. It was You're back over part. here. Stage right, Mama. Stage right. <laughs> this is my right hand, believe it or not. Some of y'all think I'm left-handed, but I'm really not. I didn't know what they was. I started unwrapping them. Yeah. I hadn't told. Angela had sent me a picture of them, and I promised her I wouldn't tell, and I didn't. No, I didn't know, and it was, uh, I said, what in these? Uh, what knots or something? I was in the other and room when they came. And I heard Mom go, oh, they're so beautiful. I seen the Tupperware they had, and I know. <laughs> and I thought, oh, Tupperware ladies are here. <laughs> you cheated, no one. Well, he good. did a good job. I did good. Thank you, Angela. You are so sweet and kind. That's wonderful. Let's bless it, Mama. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful food. We just pray you'll nourish our bodies with it, Lord. We thank you for wonderful friends that gather here with us each and every night, dear Lord. And dear Lord, we just think of them as family. And we, Lord, we, we ask you to put a hedge protection on each and every one of them. Answer the prayer requests, their needs, dear Lord. Be with us and watch over us in everything that we do. And everything that you say, dear Lord, in your precious name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you would call this. It's cream of spinach. The light stayed on. Cream of spinach. Um, tortellini? Three cheese tortellini. So it's be a long name. Three cheese tortellini chicken spinach. Um, but it's good. Anytime I can get a hold of these little tortellinis, I do get them. I've just happened through the store the other day and I looked at them and I thought, oh, I've not had those in ages. We're going to have to try it. You ready, Mama? Oh. You better blow on it. I was trying to wait for it to cool. There's a perfect I'll bite. Break it. Can y'all y'all can't see? It's funny you can't see the steam on camera. It don't pick it up so good, but it's there. I'm afraid they just finish. I'm afraid I'll turn like fall by and have strength and do everything. Give it a whirl, Mama. Mmm. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of Italian seasoning helped it a little bit. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. What do you think, Mama? It's good. Well, I got a taste of it. I'm about afraid to get that cheese and bite into it. Maybe. Well, there's cheese in that tortellini, too. I know it. I'm afraid it'd be hot and burn my tongue. <laughs> Let's see what y'all are saying. Yum. Looks delicious. Sure it is. Hey, Gail, how are you? 
I can see the steam Brenda sell good. What was the bread? Does anyone remember? Brand. Um, what was the brand? It's uh, I, I, Mama's not throw that package away. Mama, I, I'll go get it. Mama's gonna go get it for you. I got these at Food City. I don't know if this is their brand. It's eighteen twenty-seven, and they've been around a while. I don't know how you pronounce it. Somebody tell me. It's got ricotta, parmesan, and rom romano cheese in it. It's a family size. Now, this it, this we used about a fourth of it already. Um, we had it the other day with just the uh, olive oil, and just parmesan. the bull and parmesan. It was just uh, when I first got it brought in that day. I think Saturday uh, when we had it, but we just made us a quick little mix of it. I wanted Mama to try it before I invested in a whole big dish um, because I wanted her to make sure she liked it. You, you said you'd never had this before, but... No, you, I've not. You've eaten it. I've eaten it. But I've not. I don't try a lot of different things. I think the last time I made it, you had something else. Or I was gone on a trip. Huh? You might have been gone. Because sometimes I drag stuff like this to fix when you're gone. It's good with red pepper flakes in it. Y'all know mama don't do that. But if you do it, I recommend it. But it's good just like this too, it mama. Yeah, it was good with just the- Olive oil and the parmesan. parmesan on it. There, you're, it's so filling, but this will keep good for tomorrow. So, lunchtime, here we come. Be a good little lunch. Would you heat this up and eat for lunch? I might. It sure would be good. Mm -hmm. It does have some carbs with the, with the any time you use pasta. But it's got some proteins too. It's got, the, it's got two tablespoons of flour. But that's pretty well normal. And but it's got spinach and it's got, it's a whole meal. It's a one pot meal, wonder. And uh, it's got your spinach, good leafy greens, chicken, your pasta, some cheese. It's good. I recommend it. Mmm. And some good ice water. That bite. It was a little warm. The cheese and all. <laughs> you mean heat warm? Yeah. Mutton spicy. No, it, I bit into it. You can throw tortellinis in anything. And have a meal. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm back to heart of the slide. It's got a mind of its own. Everyone should film yourself cooking one night. <laughs> it's a little different, ain't it, Mama? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people have camera people. I can be your camera person. Mm -mm. If anybody does that job, I'll be filming you. Oh, no. You know, I can't keep talking. I'm going on. Talking and going on. Yeah, like you. You're non-stop. <laughs> it's one of those you have to dig around and see was that an insult or a compliment. <laughs> that was a compliment. <laughs> is your face turning red? My face is red from the stove, I guess. It was hot over there. Mm-hmm. It's only 73 in this house. No, it ain't 73. It's just I'm sitting. Mm-hmm. Well, one thing, you had the burner on the double. 
in a small pot and is letting out heat. I turned it down to the single. Helped a little bit. When I lived alone, I kept my unit on auto, meaning it would switch from AC to heat as needed, and I kept it at 68 degrees year-round. I thought 65. It's cold every time I went. Never changed it. Winter, summer. I just wake up to heat, go to bed to air condition most of the time in the summer or in the fall changing. Well, Mama, you got some leftovers. I think you should have used half of the box. I think I'm going to freeze half of this. Be a plan. I'm going to put it in Tupperware, freeze half of it, and use half of it for lunches for the next day or so. Look at that, folks. Three cheese, tortellini, cream, spinach, and chicken. It's or, a meal, or chicken, three cheese, tortellini, spinach, cream sauce. <laughs> it's a mouthful, no matter which one you say. Hi, John and Mama. Hey, Michael, how are you? I'm cold, also 65. No way. My heat is on 74, 75. I have gas. I love it. We have gas. Mm -hmm. I love tortellini. Let's see. Somebody's telling us something here. Let me pull you in the sound if you don't care because I need to see. I love tortellini. I first ate it when we were stationed in Italy for three years ago. Soup. I've had the tortellini soup. Kim, I can't imagine you got to live in Italy for three years and mm -hmm. eat all that beautiful food. Mm, Y'all left me. How long If y'all these comments are crazy. When you're videoing, they are faster than they are when you're watching a video. There was something that started with how long, but it's gone now. When is Mama's Christmas tree tour? Well, John, that's a good question. Mama, I'll let you take that one. I don't know. I'm too slow at getting them up. Everything else is going on. I'll work hard Thank on you, it Sally. this week. <laughs> Mama usually would have it up way before now, but we've had the remodeling going on in that I've one been bathroom. Today. You would think it was remodeling the whole house. It's taken a month, and it has uh, been a lot of work. I love Alfredo sauce. Looks so good. We're having lobster ravioli. Ooh, I like that too. Mom wouldn't have it, but I love it. Chutney. In Con from Connecticut. Sherry, you're eating the good stuff. I don't think I have ever had tortellini. Well, Peggy, just pick it up at the store. And I'll tell you where I found this at Food City. Was over in the, um, well, over where the eggs... Dairy. Dairy, but it wasn't right in that section. It was like, I think really it was like the, the cold jello that's pre made for snacks. It was in that section. It wasn't all the way down with the milk and the juices, but the eggs on the other end. So I don't know if that's just marketing or what, but it's over there where they keep the cold stuff. Uh, and you have to keep that in your refrigerator. Uh, so, and it's, I'll show you the package again. And I don't know this brand. I've had other brands, I do believe, but that just happened to be what Food City had. I know it's backwards, but it's just called Three Cheese Tortellini, and it has ricotta, parmesan, and romano. 12 grams of protein per serving, no GMOs. I did see that on there. And this little thing here is a pound four ounces, so it's 20 ounces. I don't see anything else on it. It's real quick. You just, you just have to... Cook it for about five minutes. Uh, distributed by, no, food company. By Butoni Food Company. They don't say anything about food so. I'm not a 
brand snob on most things. So I've had different ones, and this one tastes as good as any I've had. As long as it's good, I don't care. Uh, but they, they cook in five or six minutes. They're quick and easy. Um, you can just add chicken. If you want to just do the simple version like we did the other night, I just boiled them, put them on a plate, drizzle them with olive oil, and sprinkle them with parm. I have one in jars. It's quick and easy. I only made a little bit of them. And Mama liked them that night. I said, well, if you like this, you're going to love when I actually fix them. <laughs> Better, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And um, it's quick and easy. And making a white sauce, you're just making a roux. Uh, two tablespoons of butter, and I put a just a drizzle of olive oil just to keep that butter from burning. And you want to, anytime you're making a roux, equal parts of flour and oil or whatever you're using. Uh, and then that will give you a good thickening. And then I put, uh, after that I put my uh, homemade chicken broth in it. And probably a half a cup, maybe a third, three-fourths of a cup of half and half. Just to make it creamy. And the cream, the uh, sour cream thickens it a little, but it also gives it that sour cream tang to it. Uh, I like to use sour cream or uh, cream cheese, something like that in it. And um, then once all that boiled good, and I said it was, uh, you always want to cook your flour for at least two to three minutes in your roux. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I just added the spinach and the chicken, let all that cook down, wilt down, and that was, you've seen how much spinach I used, but not too much because here. It's not any much. Uh, as I'm stirring this up, you can see it's not just loaded with it. It's just the right amount. So use a, about twice as much as you think might be a good ratio because you've seen it was a whole colander for, and I think that will hold two uh, cups and there's not too much in it. It's just right. You get a little bit with each bite, and it's just really good. Spinach just falls in the same category as cabbage, or uh, when you're wilting lettuce, you need about three times what you think you need, and wilt the lettuce, you need about two times the cabbage you think you're going to need because it's going to come down. Same with spinach. Pile it full and let it melt down, and you'll see. Especially if you're starting with that liquid, and you're putting the spinach on top of it, um, what I like to say, I smother it with spinach and let it kind of come down and stir it. So anytime I'm making something with spinach, I put a lot. Yeah, yeah. I get one of those big boxes of it and wash it good, have it ready to go, and it's delicious. Anytime I use it, I love it. It's cooked spinach is one of my favorites. All right, folks, that's all we got tonight. Quick yeah. and easy. Uh, in and out. It's a Monday night, so... Who wants to send the kids We're home? We're saying it's Monday night tonight, and it'll just be a blink of an eye. And we'll say, it's already Friday. That's the way it seems to be yeah, going. Yeah, and if you work or if you're just in home after the weekend, you're tired. You don't. You want something quick and easy on a weeknight. Monday is our quick night usually. Wednesday's a quick night because of church. Thursday's is a cook night. We'll, we'll get into a little bit more detail on Thursdays and Tuesdays, seems like, because we don't really usually have somewhere to go or somewhere to be. And then Friday nights is a fun night. You want something. We might have pizza. We might have sandwiches. We might have anything. We might have all kinds of stuff. And I'm gone a lot of Friday nights. Mama hits the road. She's gone a lot of Tuesday nights. She's gone a lot of nights, period. She's just around her like that. Can't keep her home. I would have been gone this Friday night if I hadn't have felt a little better. Mm -hmm. But you, that passage was blessed with health. Got up Saturday morning. What is it they say? Fit as a feather. And that killed me. <laughs> That's one reason we put on Saturday evening is we got into projects with painting and gallman and messing. And I said, Mama, I'm going to have to start all over and take a shower and everything. And, um, she said, this was well, let's Mama's. Let's finish this. <laughs> she said, well, we will in a minute. And then she said, you know, our luck, we'll get started in that blackout will hit. And there will be. I said, I'm not cooking anything. And <laughs> it's going to be blacked out, even if they told us. So we were a little gun shy. And uh, it did go off right on time. But 
Uh, it could have went off early if they needed it to. So Mama said, well, let's just don't film tonight unless we just do a sandwich. I said, well, I'm, I ain't taking a shower for a sandwich, Mama. <laughs> so that's the reason we didn't come on because we was really afraid of the blackout. And I wanted to do one more thing, one more thing. One more this, one more that. Just a minute more. And time she released me from my work detail, it was 6.30. And from then on, was blackout could be time for me. And I was worried. So, we didn't come on with a bologna sandwich for you. So. I didn't even need a bologna sandwich, I don't think. I didn't need it. I don't know what I had. I don't remember what I had. I had some... Uh, some cereal. <laughs> I was going to say cereal. That was so... All right, folks. Mommy, you got anything you want to add? No. When they are done with them, be patient. Um, I don't know what's the question. When is Mama's Christmas tree tour? Oh, as soon as she gets through with them and it passes muster, we will show you all. Um, I've got a few up. That looks very delicious, thank you. She's got a few up. I'll go ahead and show you. She don't turn them on. That's what I don't understand. Mama, you've got these beautiful trees, but she won't I turn them on. I had them on yesterday. There's the temple. She had them on yesterday. Yeah, I've just been busy. I've been out in the garage. So we can't have them on every day? It's just every I've day? I've just been out there working, and I didn't even been in here do it till I come in here and cleaned up for this. Uh, let's just put it this way. I'm the one that turns the trees on every night. <laughs> the friend's tree is completed. I'll show it to you in the dark because she's not going to just have light. It's over there. She will get to it. You can it. see the stuff on it prettier without lights. She'll never admit defeat. We're going to turn them on. I'm going to put them on timer so she won't have no say so. So she'll say. I'll just come home and it'll be pitch black dark in the house. I said, Mama. She'll be back there yonder. And I'll say, Mama, you need to try well, I have them. They cut it off. You don't cut it off. <laughs> I hadn't thought about turning the lights on yet. I said, "Well, <laughs> how dark does it have to get?" <laughs> I was raised old school. You turned the lights off when you left the room. You didn't burn unnecessary lights. Well, trees were necessary. You didn't close the door. I mean, you always closed the doors and kept them closed and stuff. What doors? Outside doors. My daddy was say, what are you trying to do? We never did have air conditioner, so he never did say cool the neighborhood. He'd always say, what are you trying to do? Heat the whole neighborhood? So, we keep the doors closed here, don't we? Yeah. I leave it open when I'm packing stuff in too much, I think, sometimes. Do you think we can maybe burn the lights tomorrow night for the trees? We'll not try it. <laughs> These two are off. You want me to turn them on for you? Is the one in the living room off? Uh, I don't know. One in the dining room is The living room's finished. The dining room's finished. The two in the kitchen are finished. The one out on the sun porch is finished. One of them is. One of them is. So you got one more to do up there. Two more. And one in the sun room ain't even up yet. She's got two more to put out on the back. Three of them. Sun room and two. That's three. I was gonna say two more to put on the sun on the sun porch and one to put in the sun room. Mm -hmm. That's a total of three more. Mm -hmm. And then she's got the snowman which she puts in the bathroom. I ain't got it up yet either. She's got about four more trees to put out. You will see them before Christmas. That's all I can say. Even if it's Christmas Eve. No, it won't look Hopefully, we saved up and we can burn the lights on and the night we show them to you will be much prettier. That's the reason I didn't burn them today. I saved them. <laughs> Trissy. <laughs> Trissy. 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 We'll turn some lights on. Yeah, you can turn them on. We'll sit in the dark and shadow. Is that the reason you cook in the dark over there? I don't shadow myself like you do. 
you shadow the lights off from you, so you have to have it on. So you get enough light from the ceiling? Mm -hmm. It goes over my head. First thing I do is turn the stove light up when I'm getting ready to cook. I want to see everything. I want it all. Cooks in the dark, I tell her all the time. When I was growing up, we had one light bulb hanging down in the middle of the room on the walls, this far from the ceiling, or further. And it had a chain, you could pull it off and on. The only plug-ins we had in that room was a socket-like thing you screwed in and put the light in it, and you plugged on both sides of that. Now, that's what I had growing up. Looks like you'd be tickled to get, they have to get some lights if you want to shine. <laughs> no. So you didn't have all of these plug-ins and light switches and all of that stuff. I know, Mama, but... And when you armed, you had to put your arm up in that. You got the arm over the light and the cord come down. <laughs> you armed it so Didn't it hit the bulb and burn the cord? Yeah. Well, you didn't keep it against the cord. It plug in both sides of that socket. You had plug-ins on it. I remember the first iron when I came into the world that you had had a big old rubber thing on the handle and the cork would come straight up and out and, and wobbled. <laughs> yeah, and it had a spring on it. <laughs> that was the first arm I remember having. Someone asked if your father helped Mama cook. <laughs> I thought that was a great question. <laughs> Your father. My father. <laughs> Kendra. My father. Cooked one meal. Cooked one meal in my whole life that I ever remember. And you thought I was dying. And I thought, Mama must be dead. Or he wouldn't have cooked. And it was a potato soup is what he was fixing. And cornbread. And corn. Cool. He tried to make cornbread. But I came in. I guess I was in high school. I don't remember. No, you were still you might have been almost high school. Whatever, that's irrelevant. And I so, thought, I said, where's mom? She's not feeling good. She's in there in the bed. And I thought, well, she is, she's dead or something because he wouldn't cook. And um, He didn't help cook either. No, he didn't help cook. I've never seen him wash a dish. He wouldn't know how to turn, the, turn on the washer or the dryer. And Mama used to, he wouldn't go on vacation either. Well, but we did have a lot of animals. We had cows and we had horses and mules and dogs and all the, you know, it would have been a major ordeal, but we could have got somebody to come because we had people that came here and worked sometimes. Uh, but he wouldn't go. So we'd take off on vacation and Mama would fix a big old pot of pinto beans because that was one of his favorite meals. She would fix, she bought these little plastic, it wasn't Tupperware back in the day. It was little plastic things she got from TG&Y, I guess, and, and maybe Walmart when it came along. They had dividers, so she'd fix him meals and lay them in there in five or six, however many days, lay them in there, have that big old, pole, big old bowl of soup beans in there. She'd have cornbread and biscuits. She would cook enough for the whole week. It never failed. We came home from vacation. Every bite of food would still be here. And mom would say, how come you didn't eat this food? Oh, I went up to so-and-so's and ate Monday night. And he'd go over to my aunt's house and eat uh, mama's sister. Uh, he would go to Wendy's or Hardy's, wherever we had then. Uh, and he just wouldn't. I hate that stuff. And he said, I couldn't figure out how to use that microwave. Well, he hadn't tried. And we would show him over and over. And he'd say, I don't care nothing about that thing. And it wasn't this one. He'd it was call my sister-in-law and to ask her, Sue, and say, why are you, you cooking supper, Sue? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He was homeless and without food for a week. The microwave we had then was one that was on the counter. It had one dial. You it's had nothing simple. else to do. It was one dial with simple. numbers. And Mama would even put a little red piece. Of, and I'll tell you where she got a red piece of tape. And they don't do that no more. 
I, I discovered that the other day. Do you remember when bananas always had red tape wrapped around them? <laughs> Do y'all remember that? You can use that red tape for lots of things. And I miss the banana tape. But bananas always was wrapped in red tape here. Well, Mama would take a piece of that banana tape put it on the microwave at five and at 10 and at 20. And she'd say, for these bowls here, you put it on this one, the first red dot. For this, you put it here, and for this, you put it here. <laughs> I didn't want to fill that. I had just turned the knob and closed the door, and it would, all, it would automatically start. If that knob was turned, the microwave would come up. When the knob ran out of time, it went off. That's how you turned off and off. He wouldn't do anything. I've never seen, he vacuums one time that I remember and he hit the coffee table with a vacuum cleaner and knocked one of Mama's crystal candle holders off. That had sand in it. That had sand in it. No wildfires. And then Mom went in there when we heard it crash and he was over on the other side just to vacuum away. And Mom said, what did you, I didn't do that, he said. <laughs> I don't even know why I was vacuuming that time. Because I asked him to. I needed help. <laughs> he didn't want to help me. So, no. He never cooked. He never grilled. He never cleaned. He never cleaned. I guess that's the reason Mom was a butterfly floating around here. But uh -huh. now, I will say this. He was a wonderful provider. He worked every day of his life. He never called in. I don't care if there was 12 feet of snow on here to drove. He worked a lot of times so when he wasn't able to. Yes, he did. He would. He had prostate cancer in his 50s, and he would go to work and stop off and take a treatment and come home and then bail hay or whatever we was doing in the farm. Uh, he just didn't do anything in the house, but he had never had in his whole life. My granny opened his pops for him. Back then, you had to open them. So Granny and Papa, they, they never... Waited. He is an only child. He was an only child. You know how they are. What did I say? You're not going to grow up. Well, it didn't help me. <laughs> it made, it was, it worked the reverse. Because she said, you're, I heard it 10,000 times. You're not going to grow up like your daddy did being spoiled. You're going to learn how to do a few things. My daddy said, you've got to learn to cook, clean, take your clothes. You're going to survive in this life. We all worked and done stuff, so... What That's the reason when I was three years old, I would pull a chair up to the stove and I would flip my own eggs. I love doing that. I can flip an egg today because of that. Now, I, this is a little funny side story. So, when I was young, Mama taught me how to wash clothes. You know, you wash, you turn this knob to here and you hit this back. So... And how to start the dryer. So she would often tell me, uh, you know, when I was 11 or so, take the clothes out of the washer and put it in the dryer and set it. And, you know, so I would do that. And um, about, well, about a year ago, we had to get a new washing machine. <laughs> and I've reverted back to my childhood. Because I went in there to do some laundry the first week we got it. I couldn't turn it on. Couldn't turn it on. I didn't know. I thought I read and it said standard and it said blah, <laughs> blah, blah. The knobs were all different. The I pushed it and the water started spitting out. And I thought, oh, I've done something good because at least I have water in there. I put my liquid detergent in there. I thought, okay, it's going to do something. And then I hit the button and it was on something called pre-soak or something, and it wouldn't start. Couldn't do, 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 do nothing. So I found myself saying, Mama, you remember when I was 10 years old and you taught me how to use the washing machine? You're going to have to do it again because I can't get the clothes to wash. So we were in there just a year ago, not hardly, and her teach me yet again how to wash. And I said, this brings back memories of my childhood. So the dryer is easy. I, could, I figured it out. But now that one, that new washing machine, and when I ordered that washing machine, it was supposed to be simple. I called the people from Lowe's and I told him, I said, I need to order a washing machine. He said, You want This is when COVID was going on, wasn't it? 
No, that was the dryer. dryer. That's that same way I ordered the dryer though. When I call Lowe's and say, I need a washing machine. I want an agitator in it. And I want water in it. And I want it to be no computer, no nothing, the most strict down model you have. And he said, I know exactly what you want. This is what we have. And, he, and I guess it is, because it's nothing fancy. Uh, I didn't want nothing computerized. But this has got a little. It has got a little. So if you're out there and you've got one of them good old wash machines, you know the ones where you push the button in, you pull the button out, it makes a big chunk. And you push it in, you grinds the gears, and then go to regular load, and you push the start button, and you get water flowing. You get your liquid detergent in there, and it'll start sloshing. And you let it slosh a second, you throw your clothes in there, and you just wash them. You thank goodness for that washing machine, and you take care of it, because you can't get another one. So those old washing machines, I so hated to see ours go because I had heard about the new ones. People had told me about the water spitting on your clothes and it washed them forever and ever and ever and ever. And the front end load ones smelled and you had to... I'll be back down to the creek with a rock because I can't handle that kind of technology. But then when I got that one, it's okay. Now that I know how to use it, I can actually wash clothes again and I do. But it was rough on me, Mama. Yeah, it took me a while to... Mama figured it out, though. She had it going on. But uh, I had to have a crash course. All right, Mama. We've gone from chicken tortellini to washing clothes. I think we've done we've, it again. We've chased 99 rabbits. We've chased rabbits tonight, folks. We apologize. We thank you all for putting up with us. We really do. <laughs> and we know sometimes it's probably a struggle. <laughs> it's a struggle for us. But this is it's, how we live. We it's just, life. We just sit. <laughs> You're no different, Justin, company that comes over. They suffer the same as you all do. That's their hearts, they do. <laughs> they come in, they sit down. They may, We may talk about 47 different topics. And that's just the way it goes with us. But we're going to hush now. We're all through. We're through, <laughs> we're through rambling now. <laughs> Mama. You got anything you want to add? No, I'm not not up. <laughs> Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you. Bye-bye. Have a blessed night.